0242-254-254. Imagine. Two five four TV being the last day of the month of June 2022. I trust that you have been well. A very good Thursday evening to you. My name is Dereva Hillary. Welcome to the news beat. We begin on a sad note where veteran journalist and a former Daily Nation managing editor Joe Kathy has died. His family confirmed that Kathy passed on last night while receiving treatment at a Nairobi hospital. Various journalists have eulogized Kathy as the godfather of print media having had an illustrious career as an editor and media trainer. He taught journalism at the universities of Addis Ababa and Nairobi as well as the United States International University. His contribution to the growth of journalism saw him earn the Lifetime Achievement and Award of the 2015 Media Council's Annual Journalism Excellence Awards. The only way the media can actually help this country is before the nomination insists that this political party should come out with manifesto number one. Number two, register their candidates in a transparent manner. Number three, make those candidates share platform. And now to matches uh, politics. A Ghana party presidential candidate David Moore has set Monday 4th July to be the day his party will launch his manifesto ahead of the August 9th general elections. Moore, who was addressing members of the press in Nairobi, said key highlights into his manifesto will be waiving tax penalties. I shall be proposing the following. Number one, to waive all tax penalties accrued. Again, to waive all tax penalties accrued as of the date of my being sworn in. This will give Kenyans a new start. Number two, in my detailed manifesto, I'll be radically reducing the tax on payee. God bless you. We'll keep talking, man. Keep talking. And in keeping with manifestos currently underway is uh, Roots Party uh, with Wajakoya manifesto launch at KICC while the Kenya Kwanza manifesto is taking place. Uh, launch is taking place at Kasarani. Now, in other news, the Ministry of Health, in conjunction with the National Hospital Insurance Fund (NHIF), has uh, signed a contract to enhance the fund's capacity to effectively deliver on its mandate, and especially in responding, uh, repositioning it for the national rollout of the universal health coverage. The health CS Motai Kauge has noted that NHIF has come up with reforms to easier the access of service and accommodation of the changing healthcare ecosystems dynamics. To improve strategic purchasing, NHIF required to identify the interventions or services to be purchased, considering the needs of Kenyans, national healthcare priorities, and cost effectiveness. MOH, NHIF, and hospitals have held extensive stakeholder engagement on strategic purchasing to ensure Kenyans access to healthcare without suffering financial 
hardships. At the end of the day, the end is the care of the patient and making a patient happy and putting a smile uh, on a patient. Again, to some sad news, a 23-year-old woman was banned to death in her Kitengela rental house in what is suspected to be a murder by her boyfriend. The deceased was found in her bed with a burning a 6-kilogram gas cylinder underneath her bed. Nicholas Omondi. Kuna jirani alikuja kuniyamisha asibui kuwa kuna moshi natoka kwa nyumba. So venye ni... Nikamuka nikikuenda kuangalia nikapata moshi natoka Kuangalia nikapata ndani wa meloku na kifuli So nikafanya ku, nikenda nikachukua kitu ya kuhunja Tukachukua na majirani kitu ya kuhunja mlango Kuhunja mlango Tukanza kuzima juu moshi likuwa ndani ya nyumba Atuku kwa tunajua kitu ina Atuku kwa tunajua kama mtu wa kundani ya nyumba Elsewhere, a resident from Kandui, Bungoma County, Elvlin Nasabu, is crying for justice after another person claimed ownership of her land. Nasabu said she rightfully acquired a piece of land from one Judith HSA in 2016 only for Bramwell Wafula Wanyama to show up claiming to be the rightful owner of the piece of land. According to complainant, the matter has been reported to Bungoma Police Station, but not much has been done to solve the issue. She is now appealing on a high authorities to bring an end to her suffering that has seen her fail to get justice even after reporting the matter to the independent policing and oversight authority ipoa sasa mimi nataka serikali ya bungoma kama kuna wakubwa kulika hao wanisaidie bure mimi sina mahali penye hata naishi nimetegemea ndio yenye nataka kuniibia sasa nikakuja mpaka kakamega ipoa pia wakakuja paka wakanifata mbaka uko. Wakachukua hiyo kitabu ya upio wenye wakaenda thurufu. Wakapata statement vile naandikwa. Lakini umu mwizi ya kuchukuliwa. Umu mwizi ya napiga tukifuwa kila siku kuniambia tuwa kipita kwa mlangu. Kenya National Commission on Human Rights has raised concern on cases of killings that have allegedly been perpetrated in the context of elections. The commission says it is worrying that four people have so far lost their lives in Nairobi, Kisi and Baringo counties during the current political campaigns. The commission has called on the institutions mandated to carry out the elections to ensure that the electioneering process focuses on promoting and protecting human rights. the political electioneering process should focus towards the promotion and protection of human rights and that all the institutions charged with various mandates and responsibilities should work towards realization. In the remaining phase towards the 9th August polls, the Commission urges members of the public to observe and maintain peace and respect to rule of law Public a Service Commission has launched a program to train offices at office administrative services personnel to impart other civil service values and life skills. The program which was launched in Nairobi by Principal Secretary in the Ministry of Public Service, Mary Kimonia, seeks to establish a mechanism for harnessing and managing information, ideas and knowledge of or existing and retiring office administrators personnel for decision making. It is important that the skills you've learned over time and the maturity that you have gained be imparted into the younger officers that are coming into the service. And training is good, but training, you go into a training for a week, you are pumped with a lot of information. After that, you forget. So there's no teacher like the experience. And that is why we are here. That's why we started your mentorship program. 
The Azimio Volunteers Movement has urged Kenyans to rally behind the candidature of Raila Odinga and Mother Karua. This is as Kilifi County gubernatorial candidate Aisha Jumwa has urged the residents to elect leaders who will prioritize reducing the high cost of living. In 2010, had we not seen the vision of Raila Odinga, and seven million of us support us say yes to that new constitution. We don't have the volition today. So that is the choice we're going to be making on the 9th. And it will really matter the kind of leaders you put in place. There are two key points that resonate very well in our people. That is education and Baba care. Let us remember that the message that we take to our people must be for hope and must be one that clearly differentiates between ourselves and the other team. Zimio. Naomba wenzetu wana diaspora wote. Tuunge mkono Governor Nyoro. Sababu Governor Nyoro ame kuima kutoka pale na nyuki mpaka tukakuja mpaka Gedurai. Miezi hiyo yote mpaka sahi amekuwa na sisi wakati tunasukuma hii gurudumu la kuuza baba Mount Kenya. Na hata sahi mwenye akufae kwa dhiki ndiye rafiki. Najua kuna sehemu nyingi ambazo zimepangwa kwa ajili ya maendeleo ya kijamii. Viwanja vya mipira viko hapa. Mimi kazi yangu pia ni kukuza talanta kama kiongozi. Huyu mama asikielezo kizuri. Cha mama ametoka maisha ya chini amekwenda polepole mpaka amefika pale Kenya ina muheshimu kwa sababu amejinyanyua mwenyewe nataka tujaribu tuangalie mali zetu ndio nimesimama independent kwa sababu nikiingia nataka nisonge na wananchi sina story ya kuita baba wala The Kiambu County Assembly is expected to adjourn after finalizing its legislative calendar for the second assembly. The assembly which was inaugurated in the year 2017 has passed 32 bills so far, 438 motions and 170 statements together with 45 petitions. We've been the first assembly in Kenya to successfully prosecute an impeachment motion in the Senate against a sitting governor which has been upheld by the High Court and the Court of Appeal. And we also did another censure motion against a sitting CEC which again was upheld uh, by the Employment and Labor Relations Court at the High Court level and uh, was also upheld by the High Court uh, Human Rights and uh, uh, Human Rights and Constitutional Division. We have a situation where money is coming from the Treasury directly to the accounts of the assemblies Eh? for their own development programs and also uh, recurrent expenditure. At, as of now, it is very dismal. <clears throat> it is, there is a push and pull between governors and speakers and, uh, and uh, MCAs. But we hope that in the future, this will be addressed. The number of people in dire need of food aid across, uh, um, aid across the country has reached 4 million, a situation that has been compounded by the drought that has plagued many parts of the country. According to the World Food Program, WFP, at least $130 million, approximately 13.7 billion shillings, is required to support them in Masabit County being one of the worst hits stock which is their main source of livelihood they have lost their livestock half the population have lost their livestock which is their main source of livelihood these uh, families are also moving to drought fallback areas to really try and see if they can uh, get some pasture for their livestock mbeleni ime tegemea saidi mbusi lakini mbusi imeisha ajili ya ukame haya gombe imeisha the droughts we have had a high malnutrition rates of children with a gum rate of around 20, uh, some going to about 28%. Uh, and therefore, hot spots areas are not whole. Nashid Yamaji, Bilali, Metumalisia, Mali, Mbuzi, Atamum, when you were in Mbuzi Mingi, Sasa. 
Uh, quarter past seven, we're due for a short break. Uh, see you on the other side of these commercials. Please stay tuned. Many thanks for staying with us. You're watching News BT on Y254 TV. Now, a father of two in Tiati has gone back to class following the opening of a new school in the area. The Tiati Secondary School has been hailed as a beacon of hope for many dropouts who most of the time resort to crime. Who'd otherwise be put? I've stayed home for more than 10 for more than 10 years and above. I was told that I was going to go to the hospital. I was going to only four years. I was going to go to I was I must do it. I was going to go to so many people. I doctor. I was a doctor. Mali. Dr. Daniel somewhere. I was going to go to the doctor. We are extremely happy and we see that uh, Slowly but surely, we will be eradicating all, all, man, all manner of uh, bad cultures among our people with the transformation uh, uh, we're bringing through education. This is the only way. We, we, are, we are told many stories that we are backward, we are forward, nothing. Everybody has to begin somewhere. But now because of the onset of this school, you know, it has encouraged even those who have been staying at home for some time. So you see, one, it has completely eradicated because this number you see here this number could have stayed at home and that one could have bring some problems in the future so education as such has really transformed this the video gaming industry in Kenya is slowly gaining its space in the entertainment industry, more so in urban centers like Nairobi since its introduction in the country in the year 2007. However, a section of Kenyans have, res have reservations about video gaming, some terming it as a waste of time, with others comparing it to gambling despite the two having little, if anything, in common. Gaming is nice. It's a idea sana. Kuna watu wanakuja wanajaribu kutoroka drugs kuja ku game. So pia gaming ina that idea vitu mingi sana. We all come together so that we can entertain ourselves so that we can be able to interact. When you win it's like a competition in our class. So it's overall it's just for entertainment. I play video games professionally not just because someone has I played professionally. They have played places like Norway, England, and yes, it's good. And video games just for entertainment, betting can lead to very financial losses. Video games are part of entertainment. While well, betting, ni kama mtu ni kana hustle. Most people game as from 11, 11 to 4, 11 to 10 p.m. So you have to be available on that at that time. Now, all goods imported to Kenya will now have to pass uh, the pre-export verification stage after six companies were cleared by the Kenya Bureau of uh, Standards to offer the services for general goods. This standards body has picked Bureau of Veritas Kenya, China Certification and Inspection Group Company, CCIC, China ha Handsome Inspection and Certificate Society General, SGS, TUV, Tak and the World Standardization Certification and Testing Group based in Shenzhen City, China. The Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority is urging members of the public to, vigil to be vigilant and report cases of uh, fuel adulteration and illegal trade in uh, liquefied petroleum gas. This follows a series of surveillance and tests whose results indicated a myriad of malpractices including offering 
for sale diesel meant for export as well as offering for sale super petrol and diesel adulterated with domestic kerosene in a, at least nine sites across the country. Consequently, the EPRA has sealed the pump operations belonging to the operations are found non-compliant. Kenya has embarked on a countrywide campaign to sensitize small and medium businesses on the opportunities offered by the African Continental Free Trade. Trade Cabinet Secretary Betty Miner says Kenya has prepared a national implementation strategy that provides a framework for the implementation of the AFCTFTA to facilitate an expansion of the country's trade and investment in Africa and support structural transformation. And as Kenya targets 50% motorized power use in farms by 2030, CIFO society groups have begun equipping farmers across the country with tractors in a bid to catalyze and faster progression towards these goals. Farmers in Kakamega County received three tractors and a 4.2 acre parcel of land from Shofko in efforts to enhance motorized power use. So to hiring. Kuna shida na mambo ya tractor za county ya Zitoshi. Letea maendeleo western na ninachua itakuwa saiti. Shule sitakuwa nyingi, hospitali ndiyo itayari tumepata. The Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CARO, has partnered with SNV Netherlands to implement a three-year improved forage plan for arid and semi-arid lands targeting three counties. The plan targeting Taita Taveta, Kajado and Narok counties is aimed at enhancing agro-pastoral livestock through climate smart innovations and sustainable landscape management. The World Bank has approved a $500 million loan to strengthen Egypt's resilience to food crisis and support reforms in food security policies. The Russian-Ukraine war has driven up prices and created nutrition shortages, particularly for people who rely on bread for their daily nutrition needs. In top oil exporters, Saudi Arabia may, ri may raise uh, prices of light crude grades to Asia for the second straight month in August on the back of record uh, distillate margins and strong spot pr premiums for Middle Eastern oil this month. The official selling price for Saudi's uh, flagship Arab light crude could rise by about $2.4 a barrel from the previous month. And away from Kenya, uh, following the death of the dozens of migrants who lost uh, their lives during a smuggling attempt from uh, Mexico to the United States, the suspected driver of the truck they were ferried in has been arrested. An accused conspirator has also been arrested and they have been both charged with human trafficking offenses. After local Now 
in sports, uh, Romelu Lukaku has returned to Inter Milan on a season long loan just a year after leaving for Chelsea. Chelsea paid Inter a club record fee of £97.5 million pounds for the 29-year-old last summer. But before Christmas, the player made it clear that he was not happy at the club and hoped to rejoin the Italian side in future. Andy Murray says he, he aims to improve his ranking before the U.S. Open uh, so that he can be seeded and of avoid facing high-ranked players early in the tournament. Murray, and, uh, together with Imar Rudikan, was among the big names to be knocked out of the Wimbledon. Many thanks for staying with the news beat. Let's do this again next week, Thursday. Until then, enjoy the rest of our programming. My name is Ilyava Hilary. Have yourself a very good night. Enjoy the rest of our programming. Good night and goodbye.